the praise and glory. This is Rise and Pray, Lives Depend on It, and we thank you for joining us on this faithful Friday. I pray that you are getting a fresh, fresh win on today, and we welcome back our returning callers, and for those joining us for the very first time, we are here Monday through Friday, starting at 5.55, which starts our praise and worship, and at 6 a.m. to 6.15, we have prayer with a war cry focus. For our faithful social media participants, our prayer line is 712-451-0200. If you missed any of the prayers this week, I recommend you check out the YouTube, Instagram, or our FB page because the Lord met us here each and every day this week. Can I get a witness? Um, the word came forth and it said, bear one another's burden, but allowing God to do the heavy lifting. Remind yourself you've been chosen by the most high God. Why are you rehearsing your mistakes? Just stop looking back. When I say this week was on fire, it was fire. And if you missed it, Go and get that word that it can uplift you and propel you to a new dimension in God. Today's scripture reading is coming out of 1 Samuel 30, 3 to 6 in the King James Version. And then we're going to jump down to 1 Samuel 30, 18 to 19, also in the King James Version. And if you, this is a familiar passage, and if you don't know this passage, please take the opportunity to read uh, it, it in its entirety, but I need to get to the meat of this word. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David, two wives were taken captive, Ahanam, the Jezreelite, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spat, spoke of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and his for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And then we're going to skip down to 18 and 19. And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away. And David rescued his two wives, and there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil, nor anything that they had taken to them. David recovered it all. And our war cry focus is the same as the song that we just heard. Speak over yourself. You shall recover it all. Speak over yourself. You shall recover it all. Dear gracious and eternal Father, I know I know that you are doing a new thing, and now it shall spring forth, Father God. So we come to you first and foremost asking for forgiveness of our sins, asking you to wash us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness, every thought that we thought, every deed that we've done, God, that was not pleasing in your sight. We thank you that we don't have to look back. We don't have to rehearse it anymore, Father God, that we are human and we make mistakes, but we have a God who rose on the third day, who got up on that cross and died for those same mistakes, died for those same sins, and you bore our griefs, you bore our transgressions, God, and for that we say thank you, Abba Father. We thank you so much for being the, the, the ultimate 
sacrifice, God, the living sacrifice. We thank you for being the Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world, God. And so today, Father God, you put it on my heart that the people need to speak to themselves and encourage themselves because we're all going through something devastating and traumatic, God. And sometimes no one's going to be around to speak over you. There's not going to be a word of encouragement because someone else needs encouragement the same time that you're looking for for encouragement. So we got to get in position and align with your spirit, God, to speak a word over ourselves, God, to speak a word over our situation, to speak a word over our family, Father, God. In the name of Jesus, we're hearing so many negativity, God, over the airwaves, God. We're listening, Father, God, to the news, God. Now we got to wear two masks, God. And God, the vaccines are, are running low, Father, God, in the name of Jesus. And this month, there's more death, Father God, than we've ever seen before, God. There's so much negativity, God. So we got to speak over ourselves in this season, God. In the blessed name of Jesus, we got to tap in to the Holy Ghost, God. We got to tap in into your spirit, God. And so I'm asking you all today that you sweep over, Father God, us. Anoint us, God, that we can intercede, God. We're calling forth every intercessor, God. Every intercessor to be in line with the spirit of the Holy Ghost, God. We're going to speak, thus saith the Lord this season, God. We're going to move with power and might in this season, God. We're not jello back, God. We're warriors for the kingdom, God. And we need, Father God, to put on our battle gear like David did. He first encouraged himself when he heard the bad news, God. He first spoke to you, God. He first got on his hands and knees and encouraged himself and spoke to his situation. And then he prepared the troops, God. He aligned everybody and said, we're going to take over the territory, God. So today, Father God, we're speaking to ourselves and we're taking over the territory, God, in the name of Jesus, for the kingdom of God, for your kingdom, God, in the name of Jesus, God, you died on that cross, God, and you took the keys, God, God, from hell, God, in the name of Jesus, you got the victory over death, God. And Father God, we are your sons and daughters, God, your kinsmen, your kingship, God, in the name of Jesus. So we still got the same power to trust upon serpents and scorpions. We got the same power to defeat the enemy, to defeat the negative thoughts, to defeat insecurity, God. In the name of Jesus, we've been chosen by you, our sister pray. We've been chosen by the most high God there is. Oh, God, did you forget that there is a God who sits high and who sits low, who seeks the goodwill of his people, oh, God. We thank you for your Shekinah glory upon your people, God. Break every curse, God. Every lying spirit, God. Break it, break it, break it right now in the name of Jesus. No more neg negative thinking. No more negative speech, God. Oh, God, we decree and declare we are victorious in this season. We shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. We won't elect. Fear bombard us, God. In the name of Jesus, I know you buried someone this week. I know someone's in the hospital, but you got to speak to yourself, the Lord said. Encourage yourself in the Lord, God. This is not the final destination. We got a new earth, a new heaven. Hey, God, we're just here for such a time as this, God. Such a time as this to pray. Such a time as this to battle the army of the enemy, God, in the name of Jesus. Such a time as this you called us, God. Set us aside for your holy use, God. We're speaking over ourselves. We are victorious, God. We're speaking over ourselves. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. We're speaking over ourselves, knowing that we're the head, not the tail above and not beneath. We are speaking to ourselves that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you that we are on the potter's wheel, God, but we can still speak over ourselves, God. You gave us that power, God. So I pray today, God, for those that are waiting for vaccination, God, and they're so 
pain, they're running out and they're getting anxious. You tell us to be anxious for nothing, but to come to you with prayer is supplication, God. Some of the teachers got to go back to the schools, God. They're anxious, God. No, we ain't going back. You're going to do the right thing, government. Oh, God, I think that we can speak over our stuff. We don't got nothing to fear, but fear itself. In the name of Jesus, we're speaking over our stuff. We are more than a conqueror, oh God. We are more than a conqueror, oh God. Oh, God, we're speaking over ourselves. I don't care who you buried this week. You are a king's kid. A king's kid. Hey, God. You are a king's kid. Hallelujah. Praise this. Praise him. Praise is calmly for the upright in this season. Praise them when you feel weak. Praise them when you don't know where you're going, when you don't know where your meal is coming from. Praise him. We are victorious. Don't look back. Don't look back. Let God do the heavy lifting. In this season, speak over yourself. You are a king's kid. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus.